global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. Earlier on in the year 2023, a prophet came out saying that, uh, made a prophecy that Peter Obi will not win the election, but he will reclaim back his mandate via the court. And there will be a model of all protests of which Peter Obi will be put in prison or detained behind bars that will lead to some sort of protest. All those were prophecies he made. Many Nigerians try to walk around that prophecy such that it will not happen. But what we don't know now is, is the prophecy has it begun? Just some few days back before this, uh, the senatorial elections, House of Representatives elections, State House of Representatives election and uh, the gubernatorial election that took place uh, some days back, uh, MC Oloma made some very strong statements about uh, uh, Yashukudi and up till now he's still working very freely despite the fact that he came and did a dis disclaimer that looked more like a damaged control. Well, as we speak, it looks like Festus Kiyamo and the uh, Bolame Tunubu spokesperson and legal team have decided to set the ball rolling. The question is, will this go well with obedience? We're going to find out in a moment. As earlier on, Festus Kiyamo took time and explained to Nigeria that earlier today that he submitted a petition to the Department of State Services, DSS, against Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed to rein them in for their conduct and authorances which border on incitement and treasonable felony. A call for peace and national healing does not amount to weakness. Now, this is what he submitted uh, some few hours ago. Okay, he said the Director General, uh, Department of State Services, Aso Drive, Abuja, dear sir, petitioned against Mr. Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed for making incendiary comments and claims capable of causing an insurrection or rebellion against the government of Nigeria and the duly elected president elect. I write this petition with the full realization that in a post election period such as this, there is a need to suit Fred nerves, lower the temperature and begin the healing process. The president-elect Asiwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu has issued a statement to this effect a few days ago. However, it appears the president and vice president candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed, are not prepared to be the to be to tow the conciliatory part for the sake of peace and national cohesion whilst exercising their right to pursue duly laid down constitutional means of addressing their grievances. In this regard, since the declaration of the presidential election results, they have been happening they have been hopping from one media house to the other. Okay, they have been hopping from one media house to another uh to another making incendiary comments and claims about the declaration of the president-elect by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. These comments and claims are made not just within the boundaries of exercising their right to freedom of speech and the freedom to air their grievances publicly, but they have, of, they have um, since, since crossed the line to call for the outright truncation of democracy by insisting on the adoption of other processes outside the contem contemplation of of our constitution. In some cases, their previous have even called for the establishment of an interim government. The in latest of such are the comments made by Dati Ahmed on behalf of himself and Mr. Peter Obi on China's television on Wednesday, March 22, 2023, wherein he threatened that if the president-elect is sworn in on May 29, 2023, it will, it will signal the end of democracy, uh, posing as an accuser, a judge, and a jury all by himself. He unilaterally declared the duly elected president-elect president as unconstitutional and in a subliminal manner threatened mayhem if the president-elect is sworn in on May 29th, 2023. I also have it on good authority, on good authority that Mr. Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed have camped some youth in a particular hotel in Abuja with the sole aim of instructing them to push out inciting messages every day 
on social media in order to cause panic and fear within the Federation and to incite people to riot and, uh, and social unrest. Uh, it is noteworthy that Peter Obi and Dati Ababa Ahmed have submitted election petitions to the court for adjudication, but their conduct and authorities amount to subversion of the processes they have instituted in court and a subversion of our constitution and the laid down processes for addressing disputes and grievances. These conduct and authorances are a build up to something more sinister and it is important to rein, rein them in now. In the circumstances I submit this petition, in my personal capacity as a patriotic Nigerian, uh, okay, a patriotic Nigerian to invite or arrest, interrogate and other investigation, and after investigation, if necessary, charge both individuals to court for their conduct, which amounts to incitement and treasonable felony. Yours most trusted, Festus Kayamo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, San. Come on. <laughs> this is really interesting. In fact, the internet is boozing about this matter. Sorry, the write-up is quite very little, so I'm practically straining to get what he wrote. Okay, but um, MC Olomo is working free. Come on. What are we doing? Is this a bureaucracy? With due respect, sir, as the family, don't be angry. I'm only just speaking my mind. We still have freedom of speech within our constitutional right, okay? Uh, MC Olomo is still free, working freely with what he did on Saturday, with how he called on his boys to do the needful. Nobody. You keep saying, these politicians sometimes, they just take us for a ride. It's okay. Uh, calling Peter Obi and uh, that, that uh, they are inciting things. What did they say? That they are going to court. What did they say? They just mentioned. Now, you didn't write to, <laughs> you didn't write to Atiku Abubakar. They had a pre peaceful protest in Abuja. Barely some, barely, 24 hours after the election, he went on peaceful protest. He called on chieftains, uh, PDP chieftains, to come into Abuja, her march to INEC, and demand for um, INEC to do the right thing. That what they did was uh, was a sham, was not proper. And even the same, um, um, the, 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 the uh, former senator I'm talking about, um, Dino Malai, also said so many things. Nobody have called the uh, DSS to arrest any of them. It is the peaceful Balam, uh, sorry, the peaceful Peter Obi who will tell you, let's, uh, we believe in the judiciary, please come for calm, we'll get our mandate. Very peaceful. In fact, he will tell you, my respected elder brother, he's my respected elder brother. That's the person you're calling DSS. Pekele, pekele, arugbo, jegbo, setani, son. Let me laugh a little in Swahili. It's okay. All Nigerians have heard what he said. He's writing petitions to DSS that should run in on Peter Obi and Yusuf Dati for a treasonable felony and insinuatory statement they've been making. And uh, MC Olomo is working freely. Wow, what a country. That's a good wrap it up. That's me in our conversation. What's your take on this latest development?